I was at my local Asian market, just, you know, shopping and stuff. And I came across this, a self-heating vegetarian hot pot. And I thought that was really cool. It was only like $7.99. So I got it. I've never had a hot pot before. I have always wanted to go to a restaurant and try it out. But I don't really have any around me that I know of. So coming across this seems really cool. Uh, so it's vegetarian hot pot that's barbecue flavor. I don't know. I'm really excited because first of all, self-eating. Second of all, vegetarian. That means I can eat it. And that makes me excited. So let's get it open. Okay. I have two cameras because I'm fancy like that sometimes. on the floor for right now sweet i hope that there's english on it so i hope the instruction there's instructions that are in english too because otherwise i won't know what to do uh they had a few of them and one of them said it came with the water so i might have to go get some water if this one doesn't come with it i was expecting it to come with everything here we go we got all the packaging off. Oh, the instructions are on the inside. How do I open this? Instructions. Look at that. Okay, so it has little pictures to show what's up. Self-eating hot pack. Do not eat. What? I think that's talking about the hot pack. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what do you mean don't eat? I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, cooking instructions. Hint, after 15 minutes of heating, put the barbecue material, then eat. No electricity, no fire. Okay. Open the lid, take out uh, top bowl, and place on the table. All right. I hope this camera can see everything fine. Ooh. I came with a little folding fork. <laughs> oh, that's so neat. That's so cool. Okay. So this is the barbecue pack, I'm assuming. Bow. Oh, are these noodles? No, wait, what is this? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what these are, but we'll figure it out. I have some veggies and food and stuff so I can enjoy the hot pot by dipping them and stuff. I didn't know what came with it. I may have went a little overboard with what I got. Here, I'll show you. So this is what I have. I may have went a little overboard, especially on the cabbage, but I thought it was gonna cook down. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So it says to take this out, done. Okay. Add vegetable pack, potato pack, and konjac pack in the top bowl. That's this bowl, right? I, I think I know how this is going to work. This is Because it said top bowl, so I think this one's going to fit inside of the big bowl. And then the water. And the stuff in the bottom is going to heat it up. Okay, wait. Add vegetable pack, potato pack... I'm guessing these three. I'm guessing these three go in there. Okay. Do I need water? Hold on. Before we start any of this, I need to know if we if I need to get up and go get water. I got some water. I got some water. Okay, so I think it's these three. I'm gonna put this in my lap. So let's start with this one. I want to guess this is the potatoes. I'm Irish, so I love me some potatoes. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, it's seasoned. 
It's definitely potatoes. Seasoned potatoes. <laughs> maybe I didn't need all these toppings. Topping. I, maybe I didn't need all these veggies that I put together. But I already made them. I cut them up. So let's taste this. Hmm. It kind of tastes like a Slim Jim. Put all the potatoes to one side. Potatoes! That's how they look. It smells really good. It smells hot. It, smell, it smells spicy. But also very potato y. <laughs> Alright. I gotta stop licking it. It's like straight up spiciness. What's this one? Oh, that smells so good. I was just gonna smell it. Look, look inside. It's like. I'm not, I'm not sure what these ones are. So that we have the potato pack, vegetable pack, and konjac pack. It smells good. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think the back of the packaging said soy protein. I think this folding fork is really neat. <laughs> little travel fork. Okay. Rip the oil pack evenly on the ingredients. Ooh. Does this need this? Like, oh, I should have threw the mushrooms I made on top. You know what? I'm still gonna. I'm gonna throw the mushrooms I made on top so they can get heated up. Cause I cooked some and then I have some raw ones I wanna try in it. Not spicy. I think it's sesame oil. Okay. So yeah, cool. Okay, I got some of these mushrooms that I cooked. They're um, oyster mushrooms. King oyster mushrooms? I'm not sure now. Take out the bottom bowl. Bottom bowl. Place it on the table. Alright. It's your turn. It's your time to shine. Bottom bowl. Placed. Open the plastic pack of self-heating. This heat pack and place the self-heating heat pack in the bottom of the bowl. Add cold water to the bottom of the bowl till the self-heating heat pack gets about two-thirds covered, so not fully covered. It says, do not add hot water. It may lead to danger and fatal burning. So that's why we're adding cold water, because we don't want it to get too hot. Okay, we're going to put it in the bottom. And then we're going to add... Maybe, I didn't... <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the right cup to use for this. I'm going to add it until it's too... That's about two-thirds, right? That's about halfway. Go ahead a little bit more. Like there? I'm going to pick it up. Probably not advisable, but... I added it. It looks kind of two-thirds, right? Right? Oh, it's like sizzling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to move this over. Can you hear it? I'm going to stop messing with them now. Quickly place the top bowl. Oh. Quickly place this on top. Close lid securely and let stand for 15 minutes. Yeah, it says secure it. Okay, so we're going to cover it. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's steaming! Oh! Oh, it's steaming! I don't know what to do! Hit my other camera. It, it's steaming. I didn't secure it all the way. I'm scared. <laughs> Can you hear it? Ah! <laughs> do I, do I go for it? Do I? Okay. Okay. It's not too hot. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna put this over here so you can hear it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to do that. Oh my gosh. I just caught that one in 4K. Oops. So it says to leave for 15 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. It says after 15 minutes, remove the lid. 
add barbecue sauce pack into top bowl, according to personal taste. Stir thoroughly and enjoy the delicious hot pot. So, I made toppings because <laughs> I thought it was going to be like the hot pots that you... I thought it was going to be like the hot pots that you know, um... Like the soup, and then you hold it into the soup for a while. So I have a bunch of, <laughs> seems like I have a bunch of vegetables for no reason. Oops. Maybe I should have threw some of those in there. We're back. It's been 15 minutes. My alarm just went off. It's still kind of sizzling on the inside. So... It said 15 minutes, and I used cold water. But can you hear it? It, sound, it sounds cool. Alright, let's open it up. It smells really good. <laughs> I've opened TV dinners and ramen from the microwave before. I know you gotta be careful, or else the steam's gonna get ya. so wet Ooh. it looks good it looks really good we got the barbecue it kind of smells like sazon it does not look like sazon i don't know man Ah, no! Ah, <laughs> no! Okay, I have a plate. Because of the stomach. Also, I want to... I want to try and reuse this whole situation. Oh, I should have made, like, tea! I have so many teas! Do you want to see me... Do you want, do you want to have a tea time with me? <laughs> Would you like to have, have a tea time with me? Comment down below. See, I didn't cook my little, um, my oyster mushrooms, king oyster mushrooms too much because I thought, I thought that the, uh, there was going to be like a soup. I thought it was going to be that kind of hot pot. So I didn't cook the mushrooms too, but too much because I thought they would get cooked more. So it's kind of good that we put them on top. Like I thought, I thought the barbecue was going to be soup, like a soup mix. <laughs> We're going to use the hot, the heater thing to heat it up. A wee bit you know i was not correct that's all we're gonna get oh for now Ooh, okay okay maybe the barbecue has a little bit more flavor than i thought it did all right we're gonna throw some mushrooms in there peppers in there cabbage carrots i don't think the carrots are gonna get cooked and one egg the eggs are already boiled but it doesn't matter we're gonna do it anyway so we're gonna add a little bit more water see if it activates it a little bit more i'll let you know obviously let's add that in there oh it's sizzling it's sizzling okay i think it's activating it a little bit more okay we're gonna see if this does anything i'm hoping it does i'm hoping it reactivates the heat pack a little bit swish it around I made my sauce. It's a mix of dark soy sauce, um, cucumin soy sauce, a little bit of murin, I added a little bit more, like a few dashes, just a little bit, and some spicy chili ponzu. Oh, I also added some sambal. Delicious. Also recommend that. Let's give it a little try. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're going to try some of the potato first. Because they look really good. Okay, so it's not hot. It's not like scalding hot or anything. But it does taste good. And it, did, it definitely warmed it up. So I don't have too much hope for <laughs> this yeah it's kind of cold let's try some of the lotus 
Here's the Lotus. It's definitely crunchy. It tastes good. There's definitely, uh, again, there's a lingering spice in the back. And a nice crunch to the Lotus. Tastes good. It is good. Okay, let's try some of this. I think it's the soy protein that it was talking about. Oh, no, maybe this was some of the um, bamboo shoots. Pretty sure that's bamboo shoot. Um, over here. Here we go. This is what I'm interested in. This is the soy... It. I don't know what it is. It might be soy sprouts? Because you see the little... It looks like little soybeans at the end there? I'm not sure. But it smelled delicious when I opened it. So, let's try it. It's really good. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that was the most flavorful bite I've had yet. Alright. Ooh, that's so good. Let's try it with a little bit of a sauce I made. I definitely want to try like a hot pot where you stick it inside like the broth and cook your things that way. Because that looks delicious. I always see it on like TikTok and stuff and it it seems really good. It seems cool. It seems tasty, I should say. Not cool. It seems tasty. <laughs> I love trying different foods. So I'm surprised I've never had a hot pot before. Maybe I gotta get my sister and try it and see if we can find somewhere and go. I'll record it. If we find one, I'll record it. Because she likes trying new foods too. We grew up poor. There's not... <laughs> we mostly had boxed ramen and TV dinners and stuff. So... We love anything we can find. All right, let's try it with the sauce. Mm. It has a nice sweetness and a little bit of saltiness to it. It's good. It's good. I don't know what I'm going to do with the raw mushroom, but just dip that in there. Give it a little taste. <laughs> Ooh, that soaked it up nice. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you, these mushrooms are delicious. These have a nice wine, like a sweet scent to it. it has a, nice, a little bit of sweetness to it, but still you get that like nice mushroomy taste from them. That's not overpowering. If you cook with them, we made a great stroganoff with it. Um, it's the mushrooms we had in the fridge and we had a bunch of them and we made, uh, vegetarian stroganoff with like beyond me and like these mushrooms and, and they, it was delicious delicious they work they're versatile i'm telling you but like these taste really good <laughs> highly recommend trying i don't know what their name is if you know what they're called please let me know i don't know <laughs> all i know is that they're delicious and they have this like crinkly like crackle top on on them the really good. Anyways, let's see if there's anything like I don't know what these are. Possibly seaweed? I'm not sure. It tastes good, though. Oh, Ooh, we didn't try the mushrooms I cooked. So these are king oyster mushrooms. Pretty sure. There's some kind of oyster mushroom, okay? I'm pretty sure they're king oyster. They're really good for, like, fake chicken and stuff. If you cook them right. I did not cook them right. <laughs> but they also look like a dick, I know. It's delicious. I can cook it right so the texture is kind of off. 
Looks like probably should have chopped them up a little bit more instead of just cutting them in half. But the texture is just not right for the size that I made them. <laughs> I should have cooked a lot more of the... Should have cooked a lot more of the moisture out of them. But it does, it tastes really freaking good. This whole thing, highly recommend. Actually, let's see how the egg is that I made. <laughs> it's hard to pick up an egg with chopsticks, okay? This is the egg. Ah! I cooked it a little bit too long because <laughs> it's a hard boiled egg. I was kind of going through a little, like a soft boil, medium boiled, so that it, there's like a little bit of gel in the middle. I, no, I made a perfectly, <laughs> I made a perfectly hard boiled egg. Look at that. It's delicious. It's just not what I was going for. Let's try a little bit, a bite of a little bit of everything. Okay. That had a bunch more spice to it not crazy amount but like a nice heat to it i kind of want to try some of the other brands because the other brands said they came with water and stuff and i want to see like what that's about i seen like two other ones that said vegetarian and like vegetarian self-heating hot pots so maybe next time i go there i'll pick up some of those and see what those are about um i would highly recommend trying this honestly if you like vegetables, and I think they had some meat ones too, um, at least at my Asian market that I go to, I would highly recommend this. It tastes really good. It seems like it would be really good for like if you're traveling or you're like out, if you're out camping or like for a picnic even, and you want like a nice warmed up food. It only takes f 15 minutes to cook. I feel like this is a really good thing to go like on a picnic or camping or like a long road trip even like anything that would require that you wouldn't really be able to like it stores for a long time too i bought it like not too long ago like two weeks ago and it says it's good until like 2024 at least so they store for a long time i liked it i liked it that's what this is about this is a <laughs> review about how it tasted and how easy it was it was very easy to do even like it had english instructions on it so i could i could understand that and it clearly labels all of the ingredients and what it's made of too on the back so it even has like individual nutrition facts for like the potatoes versus the vegetables versus the soy protein versus like the barbecue mix and stuff it has everything labeled out so you know exactly what's in it you know how many calories you know everything about it i'm rambling i thought it was really good let me know if you want to see me try anything else from like like anything really please like the video and subscribe if you want to see more um i try to put out videos every week at least once a week i try i don't have a set schedule but i try to put videos out every week <laughs> if you want to see more comment down below let me know what you thought if you want to see me try anything else if you want to see other kinds of videos anything just comment down below just let me know say hi how you doing how you doing <laughs> <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it uh everybody have a great night day whatever's going on for you make it a good one and i hope to see you for the next video Bye bye